and Madam Su Bing has returned to Titan Academy. Who's Madam Su Bing? You mean you don't know? She's the scariest, fiercest, loudest teacher in the entire school. I heard that Ju Hee was caught watching TikToks in class and was made to do the TikTok dance for the next five days. And I heard that Tia was caught playing games in class and never got his phone back. I also heard Shara from the same class went to the toilet and never came back. Huh? Then we should hurry and leave this class and never come back too. Hurry, let's go, let's go. Everyone back to your seats in five. Class. My name is Karen Sutbing, but you can call me Madam Sutbing, and I'm your new English teacher. So you jolly well behave yourself and don't try anything funny. Is that understood? Yes. What did you say? I can't hear you. Yes. 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 Madam Sutbing, I'm really sick. I'm not feeling well. <coughs> And my eyes, my eyes are a little blurry too. Oh, you poor thing. Um, here I have an excuse letter, and maybe you want to check the particulars. Yep, yeah, it's correct. Congratulations, your eyes have recovered. Thinking of getting out of my class, huh? Well, no one is going anywhere. Get back to your seat now. So when it comes to question marks, Madam Subing. I didn't get to have lunch just now. Is it okay if I go to the canteen to grab a bite? Oh, so you're hungry! Okay, I have something for you to eat. But only if you don't break it. Madam Sylvain, look! I'm done! I didn't break it! Um, Madam Subing, I have a very important school competition this afternoon. I need to go now. What competition is it? It's basically an eSports competition. eSports? What eSports? eSports is basically a gaming competition. What nonsense is that? There's no such thing. Stop making things up. But I swear, it's an inter-school class rush competition. Class 25 is taking part in it too. It's really important. The only eSports I know is educational sports. Here's an eSports competition for you. Finish reading this stack of books by the end of the day or it's D-Sports for you. Detention sports. I can make things up too. eSports is a real thing. Start with this one. Can someone run down to the office to get my coloured markers for me? Me, me, I will go. Why is it so noisy outside? Can't they see I'm having a class? I'll ask them to keep quiet. Guys! I want you all to stop playing basketball. Thank you. Madam Subing, I think Mr. Dan needs help carrying the books. I'll go and help. Where do you think you're going? And why would a PE teacher be carrying books? Sit. <laughs> I said sit. Madam Subing, I need the toilet. Really, really urgently. I understand. I'm not a monster. You have 60 seconds. Studying now. But Madam Subing, that's not enough time. 59! It takes 30 seconds just to go to the toilet. Well, I guess you should have thought about that earlier, huh? Where do you think you're going? Out. Who said you could go and what makes you think it's okay? So if you take out your textbooks and turn to page 76, you will see what I'm referring to. Madam Subing, I think I might have accidentally left my textbook in my locker. Can I go out and take it? Are you sure? Let me check your bag.
สวัสดีครับ t h r e for ten dollars Ooh can I get the brown one Yeah two dollars dear Thank you <laughs> Madam Su Beng my grandma is really sick I have to get home as soon as possible <laughs> Then are you okay Is Auntie Fong gonna be okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I won't get another chance. All right, Diana. Since it's so important to you, and I understand the importance of family, so I think it's been. Attention, N41. Diana, uh, is there a Diana? Ah, yes, there is. Diana, your grandmother is here to pass your lunch. Please come down to the school's office to collect it. Diana. Where am I just came from? I think the fat here, man. And grandma is still strong enough to buy you food. When they say my grandma runs faster than you, it is true. Auntie, please. This is for school faculty only. Okay. Grandma's going for boxing class now. Um, <laughs> it's my other grandma. I've got an idea. What? Follow my lead. Oh. Madam Su Bing, I am really excited to attend your class, but. I really, really need to use the toilet. Oh, my stomach is really painful. Oh, Mama s u b i mine too. Oh, must be the food we eat. What did you eat? I think it's the mashed potatoes. Uh, Auntie Betty doesn't wash her hands when she cooks. Oh, please, I really need to go. But we all eat the same thing. So you're saying that everybody ate the same thing and only the two of you have food poisoning? We can't leave the class now that we are lying down. Why did they send us to the hospital? They know that we are lying. Oh my God! 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 Oh my Why did no one tell me Madam Subin is coming today? I wouldn't even have come. Please send me out. Who did that? It was me, me, me. I came ready. Sit down. For a hundred aeroplanes in detention, or you don't go home. Sha la 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 la. Who's that singing? Do you want to get out of class? Me, me. It was me. Sha la 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 la. Now, yes. So speaking of questions, Madam Subing, as the newly appointed hall monitor, I have to report for duty. Who are you? I'm the one and only hall monitor in this whole Titan Academy. You should get back to your class. Ah. Uh -uh. Hi, Madam Subing. I'm just doing my job as the one and only school hall monitor. Sit. Wait, you weren't you in my previous class? I guess I'm in the wrong class. Excuse me, Madam Subing. He's actually in our class. He only stayed back one year, so he's no longer in the senior class anymore. Madam Subin, we really need to go for the fire drill. Fire drill? I'm not going to fall for that. It's true, Madam Subin. They announced this earlier today. Ah, everybody, back in your seat. Let's continue with class. Students, a fire has occurred at the science lab. Once again, I repeat, teachers, please keep them out away from the Bunsen burners. This is not a drill. Kindly make your way to the assembly grounds in an orderly fashion. And I repeat, Jen Hao, you do not touch the Bunsen burners ever again. This is the third time this month. Okay, so you guys plan this too, huh? Um, Madam Subing, there's smoke outside. It's just dry ice, isn't it? If only you guys put in this much effort into your studies, I'm not gonna believe a fire drill until I see flames in my eyes. You got that, kids? You got that? Everybody, run! Hmm. Did anyone see Miss Shirley? She's never late.
late for class. Maybe she's not feeling well? No, I heard she got fired by Miss City. No, no, no. I think I saw Miss Shirley carrying a big white box and leaving Titan Academy. No! Miss Shirley would never leave us. Well, I heard that class T1-T5 is back. Maybe she's teaching them. First my daddy, now Miss Shirley. Who's going to take over our class? I heard that there was this really fierce teacher teaching our class before Miss Shirley. Oh, maybe it's Mr. Mutu Raja. Or maybe it's Mr. Lakosh. That teacher's name is Madam Subin, and I don't think she's coming back anytime soon. Based on my understanding, I think that Miss Shirley Lady has something to do with the new organization that's taking over Titan Academy. Nah, that's not true, guys. Nobody's taking over Titan Academy. Anyways, free period. Woo! Sunny, we need those notes for tomorrow's class. All oh, right. <sighs> Clevery, why are you studying now? It's free period. Yeah, but I figured that I could probably use some revision while there's free time. It's never too late to start studying. Okay, sure, I guess. Alright students, come bring those knees up, bring those knees up on the spot. One, two, one, two. Alright, let's go. One, let's go. Jump in the go follow me. Alright, let's go for lap around the school. Hey, sir. Can I have some of those chips? I skipped out on breakfast today. Yeah, sure. I can take everything. Thanks, sir. You're a lifesaver. Sir, do you have any food with you? Here you go, pick one. I'll take all three. Hey Zah, I'm not really feeling noodles today. Do you have anything else? Whoa, we even got Japanese That's sick, man. Thanks. Wait, don't forget your order. Oh! Alright, thank you, man. Check out my nails! Oh my gosh, cute! Where did you get it from? You guys wouldn't believe it, but I actually did it myself. Do you want me to do your nails for you guys? Sure, do you bring nail polish? Nail polish, please. I brought the whole UV gel manicure set. Mm. Oh wow! Hey, what are you guys doing? Um, who are you and what are you doing here? Uh, normal days, I'm Debbie, but today I'm your manicurist, so let me do your nails. Okay. Hey Chief, do you want to go for a walk? Ben, what are you doing here? It's not your business. Oh no, are you okay? Of course I'm fine. I think Ben just wants to keep Tiffany fit. Sometimes, I like to take walks around the school to keep myself healthy too. Let's do our nails. I can't see anything. Just support me, man. This is getting really tiring, man. What? Then what am I supposed to do? I can't see. Why didn't you take a fair idea? Can you see anything now? I still can't see anything. Um, what are you doing? Just chilling, obviously. What are you doing? Yeah, and who are you? 
It's Chloe. Chloe? I thought it was Grace. It's Grace Chloe. Okay, Grace Chloe, I have a question for you. Where is Miss Shirley? Because we can't see her anywhere. Apparently, she left Titan Academy. Wait, what? No! No, she's lying, right? No, it can't be, it can't be true, right? No, she okay, didn't. Vincent, no, you're, no, you're, no, you're no, embarrassing no. us in front of the juniors. But, but, but Miss Shirley, okay, Take a walk, take a walk. But, but Shirley, yeah. Take a walk, Vincent. Miss Shirley! Do you know what happened? No, I don't. But I did hear cleverly mention something about... Hey students, what are you doing outside of class? Nothing, I was Come back you here Mr. now. Come over here. Come back here both Okay, of you. I will. You two go back to class. But this isn't even my class, Mr. Just Mr. go back. Thanks, Chloe Grace. It's Grace Chloe! Whatever. Alright, Grace Chloe, so where do I sit? Oh my god, Stel! This seat right here? You can see right here, Tell? Okay, fine, whatever. <sighs> At least I finally get to use my phone to play games. Hey, Grace Chloe, download the game. Hey, Kai, help him download the game. Hey, you! Never mind. Hey, you! Download the game. Hey, you! Can I add you as a friend, please? Oh my gosh, Tiffany! So how was your walk with Ben? Did anything happen? <sighs> Nothing's going on, but he's like so handsome and so dreamy. And, and he even asked me out to the movies after school, so... Oh my gosh, so that means you guys are dating, right? It confirms my suspicions. Yeah, I guess. But why are you so interested? <coughs> of course I'm interested. I made it my duty to figure out what everyone is up to in this school. See, I even made a love map. Wow, impressive! Isn't it beautiful? Ooh, what's that? Um, so this is a love map that connects all the relationships in Titan Academy. And I even got one of you. So from what I heard, you're split between Tyler and Kai. What? I'm not really interested in anyone right now. So, what's your type though? Well, I guess I like someone that's gentle, kind, you know, someone that's really patient with me. Uh, boring. Anyway, where were we? So, Tiff, this is you and Ben, and then there's Debbie, okay? And where do you think you're going, young lady? Why do you have your bag with you? Are you trying to go home? No. No? What do you mean? You literally have your bag here. Wait, where's your bag? Where's your bag? Where is your bag? Where is... Where are you? Where are you? Where did you go? Where did you go? What's going on today? Everyone's just teleporting. Hey, Jimmy. Yes? Let's do some work together. There's a lot of free time right now. Ah, yes. I finally managed to rate this level. Now, let me just... Hey, Mr. Dan. What's up? How did you end up there? Stop peeping over the cubicle. I swear, once I'm done, I'm going to... Going to what? Ah! Okay, do you want to join my clan? No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's just funny. Maybe later. Hi guys! I'm here to substitute for Miss Shirley today. I don't think we will want to miss out on a class just because Miss Shirley isn't around. And education is so important. I just think that it's a huge privilege that we can learn in this conducive environment. So, let's begin. 
Okay, so let's start with something simple. Okay, who can solve this equation? I can. Blue. <laughs> so close. Showtime. All right, class, listen up. I am Mr. Dan and I'll be your substitute teacher for today. Now, I know most of you are worried that Miss Shirley isn't around anymore. But have no fear, I, Mr. Dan, am here and I will never leave you guys, alright? Not only am I your favourite PE teacher, I am also your only PE teacher. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I see how it is. Class stand. Okay, alright, alright. Class it! All right, take a seat, take a seat. Take a... Class 10. I'm going to do a quick check to see if every one of you are here, all right? Do we have a Timmy? All right. Do we have a Sunny? Me, me, my name is Sunny. You sure do look like a Sunny to me. Do we have a Chloe? Here. Your name is Chloe. Yeah? What's wrong with that? Okay, sure. <laughs> Guys, we gotta get out of here. Can you scout and see how the situation is looking like? <laughs> What's your Not very good. What should we do? Let's see what they do first. Okay guys, if we follow the plan, we'll be able to get out of here easily. Okay? On my mark, we'll go out. In three, two, one. Let's go. Zombies, please don't need me. Tasty, you're kind of scary. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know why they thought that would work. Anyways, I have an idea, guys. We can distract the zombies by. Sunny, how are you up? Using this flashlight over here, someone has to stay back to distract the zombies. Who's gonna do it? Why don't you do it since you thought of it? <laughs> you know, I think we should make it completely random. In other words, we should play Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Yes? Okay. Alright. Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Catch the tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Okay. I'll do it. I'll distract the zombies. Whoa, that 
was a tough round. Glad I finally cleared that one though. I can finally move on to the next wave. Wait, is Miss Shirley really not going to be here? Cleverly was right. I guess she really did leave us. I wonder who our new teacher will be. Ah, uh, that's a problem for another time. That's my charger. You can use it. Okay guys, I'm going to go to the toilet now. Okay, sure. You is obey the rule. Now I detention you. People call you come to school and study. You make trouble. So you cannot go home. You stay back. Hmm? You look at your friend playing outside. How happy! Then you cannot play inside the classroom. You better behave yourself. Or I peer. Alright kids, so hopefully that video will make you understand the gravity of your actions. So detention ends in two hours, sit down, be quiet, and let's make this easy for you and me. Mostly me. Let's go, Philip. Okay, this is my first time in detention. It can't be that bad. Most of the people here are my classmates. It's going to be fine. It'll just be over after two hours. You stop standing around and go take a seat. You take a seat! Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Huh. Okay, stay calm. Stay calm. First time? Yeah. Thought so. Maddie, you shouldn't sit next to him. Why? I'll tell you why. The last person that sat next to me got his head dunked in the toilet. That's why I'm here. So tell me, why are you here? Well, my classroom caught on fire. Your classroom? On fire? You mean T1, T5? That was crazy! You told me that was you? No, no. I mean, what if it was? <laughs> you can make yourself comfortable. Yeah, I was gonna go sit in front. Yeah. So sorry about that. <laughs> what now, Trev? Mr. Nen, I don't belong here. I didn't even do anything wrong. I was scared the entire science class. Why am I being punished for that? You didn't do anything wrong. <sighs> the CCTV here says otherwise. Take a look. It's not even me, Mr. Dan. We're not even the same height. The camera does that to some people. So, how do you explain this? That's not even my name, Mr. Dan! <laughs> nice try. Then how about this? I was the one who fell. You mean you're the one that tripped the poor boy? Just accept your punishment, Trav. <laughs> hey, if you're gonna cry, cry quietly, would you? <laughs> so what are you in for? <laughs> Stuffing someone in the locker? That's what you get! Stay in there! <laughs> <laughs> and I thought 
thought I was a jerk. <laughs> hey, hey, how about you? What are you in for? Breaking school property. What did you break? The school locker. Ah, ah, um, oh. <laughs> Timmy! <laughs> what did I say about playing with the lockers? Mm -hmm. Detention for you! <laughs> what a crybaby. Okay, is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> Nothing's going on. I'm just thinking about the things that I've done wrong. That's why I got sent to detention. Yeah, your class did burn down. But you didn't start a fire, right? So what are you doing here? I ruined Nicole's painting. That's why I told her myself and requested to be in detention. Julian, you can leave now. Nicole just informed that the painting was an accident and everything was a misunderstanding. No, no, please let me stay, please. It was not a misunderstanding. What I did was an unspeakable act. And I belong here. I deserve to be punished, Mr. Dan. It's really okay. Accidents happen. Just pack up and go home. Well, the classroom can't look worse than it is now. The walls are going to be repainted anyway. Huh? I really never liked that anyway. Gives me the creeps. <laughs> Julian, detention for you. Yes! I mean, oh no! Detention! Oh! Oh no! What am I going to do? Mr. Dan, I've got to be let up early today. I've got basketball practice and my coach is going to kill me if I'm late. Ben, I'm your basketball coach. You do not have practice today. Oh, then uh... I've got detention. If I'm late, I might get into trouble. But you're already in detention, Ben. You kids have got to stop with your lies. You are here to be punished. Mr. Dan, I actually do have a valid reason. And what's your excuse, Chloe? A dentist appointment. The least you could do is be original. Like Ben. Maybe bad. But at least he's original. <laughs> dentist appointment. How important is that? Mr. Dan. Oh, now, now, what's your excuse? Excuse? What about you tell me your excuse for delaying my appointment? Chloe, let's go. Ben, you're doing it wrong. Let me show you, okay? Help me? Guys, this was a bad idea. Hey you, get down from there. I can't, I'm stuck. Well then just stay there and be quiet. Why do they even bother trying so hard? It's so easy to get out. <laughs> hey, 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 the intention isn't over. Whatever, they don't pay me enough to run after kids. You don't even have to run for that. <sighs> it's too fast. Uh, it's too fast. Why <sighs> uh, well, is time moving so slowly? It feels like I've been here forever. I just want to go out, you know, have some fun. But no, I'm stuck here. I didn't even mess up the class. Chin out did, not me. Chin out. Oh, hey Maddie, what are you doing tonight? Oh wait, she can't hear me. Oh, she's so cute. I think it's about time I check the time. Oh, why is time moving so slowly? Timmy, be quiet. <laughs> Denise, what are you doing here? In detention? I'm just here to study. I work best in a classroom environment and this is the only one left. The rest of the classrooms have been burned down. 
Well, you're not missing much anyway. This place is boring. What a nerd. Shh. No talking. Mr. Den, instead of just sitting here and keeping quiet, maybe we should be doing something more productive instead. Perhaps you could give us a couple of worksheets so that we can enrich our minds. Well, Denise, I for one believe that detention is strictly for punishment. This time, it's meant for self-reflection and not productivity. You're just lazy, Mr. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that might be true, but I don't appreciate your tone. Now be quiet and do nothing. Hey, hey, hey. say do nothing. Don't think I don't know what you're doing. Stop it. Go to the principal's office. And tell her what? That you'll be studying in detention. Mr. Dan, see me in the principal's office. Now. Okay. <laughs> now that Mr. Dan is gone, should we leave? Nah. I think we should just stay put. Oh look, another teacher's coming. Hey, Fare! It's been a while! How you been? There will be no calling me Fare here! This is detention! I don't want to hear another poggy! I don't want to hear another party. I don't want to hear anyone saying anything stop here. This is detention. Why is Mr. Mamohai so strict all of a sudden? It's only like this during detention. He takes it a bit too seriously. Have fun! You're having fun making friends! Stand up! Now stay standing! Oh, this is clear. Mr. Marble, hi, can I go to the bathroom? Sure, sure, go ahead. Well, you are it! How about if you ask me if you can leave detention early or if you can leave school early? Sit back down, Julie. Hey, I heard you have trouble leaving the classroom. Well, I got you covered. I've got four hall passes. How do you manage that? Let's not talk about that. If it's not hall passes you're looking for, well, I have calculators. Discounted phones from the lost and found, and also forged parent letters. Oh, and I also have teacher signatures. Well, mostly Mr. Dance, because he'll sign anything. He can't read that well. It's okay, I don't want to get into any more trouble. On second thought, give me everything that can keep me here longer. Um, everything! Yes! This, uh, uh, that too, that, this? yes, take it! Everything, all. Not again! Oops. You see? This is all because of the people who started the fire. If you know anything about it, you better speak up now! You think they'll ever find out? That's the thing about fires. <laughs> no evidence. <laughs> Dan Hall and Vincent, Mrs. Ragnar is ready to see you now. Okay, you better get our story straight. If there are any discrepancies, they might actually find out what happened. Yes, alright, story. What's the story? So we were just doing our experiments and the Bunsen burner exploded. I need specifics, man! Gasly, gasly! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, let's go. Stick to the story. Story, story, story. Close the door! Close it, close it. Hey, don't forget to stick to the story, okay? Ah. Vincent, you can come in first. Right, wish me luck. Don't worry, I got this. So Vincent. Get out of it wasn't me. All I did was ask him what experiment is doing and all of a sudden, bish, boom, bash, boom, the classroom caught on fire and I, oh 
almost died. Why would I endanger my life like that? I didn't start a fire. I'm innocent. I'm in nothing but a model student. And if you think about it, it was the potassium that he used that caused the fire. That's why it wasn't a normal fire. It was all purpley and wavy and it spread so fast. And we all had to run the classroom and leave our stuff behind. <laughs> like my two weeks worth of homework that I worked so hard on. Be sure to tell me surely that. <laughs> I actually just wanted to ask if you were okay because the explosion did happen near your table. Oh! But, please do carry on. Then, I don't know what you're talking about. You won't get anything from me. Nothing. Nada. So I know I have a past history with the Bunsen burners and all evidence points to me. But I assure you, Mrs. Regna, it was just an unfortunate accident that could have happened to anyone. We were just doing our experiments and there was a gas leak. Gas leak. If you don't believe me, you can ask Vincent. He told you it was me, didn't he? You have no proof! We are being detained against our will! What are you doing? Heresy! Heresy! Stop! Stop! What are you doing? But it's all heresy! You're gonna get us in no, more no. trouble! Mrs. Regna, please go easy on them. It's all my fault, okay? It's none of their fault. I should have kept a better eye on what's happening in the classroom. I'll take full responsibility for it. What? Full responsibility? No! If someone has to take full responsibility, it's me. It's my fault. I started the fire. Tian Hao! It's all my fault, okay? No, Miss Shirley, it's my fault, Mrs. Ragnar. It's my fault. No, Miss Ragnar. It's both their faults. I'm innocent. I'm just a bystander in all this. What is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you? I don't do anything. 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 We cannot afford to expel any more students or fire any teachers. But this cannot go unpunished. So to make up for the mess, surely, you'll be heading the night school program from next week onwards. But I've already worked such long hours. You can't expect me to work at night too, right? Yes, that's exactly what I expect you to do. Or would you rather be jobless? Oh, I'm guessing it's just detention for both of us, right? Alright, so we'll just make a move now. Stop! You two will be helping out Miss Shirley as teacher's assistants at the night school program. C come on, we already go for day school and now you expect us to go for night school? This is outrageous! You know what I think about this situation? This okay, is outrageous! Okay, okay, fine, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. Uh, and one more thing. The classroom isn't going to fix itself, is it? Those are toothbrushes. Th th those are toothbrushes, yeah. No summer break until the classroom has been restored. Guess you guys better get to work. <sighs> oh, God. I didn't do anything at all. I didn't want to do was science. I can paint. I can paint. I want to play hockey. I'm not even good at painting, you know? I never want to be a painter. <laughs> Why do I have to do this, huh? I didn't do anything wrong. Oh my god, just wrong. stop whining.